hello and it's been a while since i have put a video so today i thought of uh, putting a video on the already famous game played between <coughs> daniel dubu and sergi karyakin from the recently concluded russian championships it's 11th and a penultimate round and karyakin just needed a draw to win the championship so let's have a look into the game so playing with the white pieces dubu goes for e4 and e5 replies karyakin so now knight to f3 and knight to c6 now bishop to c4 and bishop to c5 we are now having a gyoko piano game on the board and here dubo goes for the main line with c3 and knight to f6 attacking the pawn on e4 so now d4 attacking the bishop so he takes d4 and here Dupo goes for an interesting variation with b4 attacking the bishop. So now bishop goes to b6 and the pawn on e4 is unprotected. So here Dupo plays an attacking move with e5 attacking knight on f6. So now knight comes to e4. Karya king attacks the pawn on c3 putting pressure on the c3 pawn and now bishop to d5 attacking the knight on e4 and here karyakin decide to take the pawn on c3 knight into c3 and knight into c3 here dubo plays knight into c3 and d into c3 ultimately dubo can win the pawn on c3 and here Dubo plays bishop to g5 attacking the queen and instead of playing uh, a move like f6 and weaken the king side Karagin plays uh, knight to e7 and here Dubo decide to castle on the king side and h6 attacking the bishop so now bishop goes to h4 and here Karagin castle on the king side now rook to e1 and now queen to e8 the queen is no longer pinned so with the idea of taking the bishop with the knight on e7 and here Dubo plays bishop to b3 and now a5 attacking the pawn on b4 in reply Dubo plays a very tactical move and he plays bishop to f6 because if g into f6 then e into f6 and uh, black will lose the knight on e7 because the knight cannot bow because of the threat rook will take the queen so instead of laying a uh, g into f6 karyakin here plays a4 attacking the bishop the bishop on b3 is posing a real threat because the bishop is having an open file and in reply to a4 Dubo plays bishop to c4 and knight to g6 bringing the knight into the game with the idea of playing knight to f and here queen to d3 with the idea of taking the knight on g6 because of queen into g6 black cannot play f into g6 because of the bishop check so in reply to queen to d3 Karyakin plays a d5 and here Dubo plays the end passant and he plays into d6 attacking the queen. The queen is now under attack. So bishop to e6 plays Karyakin hiding the threat and it was here that Dubo plays a very brilliant move. He plays queen into g6. It was a wonderful move by Dubo because if uh, the only move here Karya can, can play is uh, queen into g6 with the threat of uh, queen into g g7 mate so anyhow Karakin has to avoid the threat so the only move he can play is uh, f into g6 so he plays f into g6 and now rook into e6 with the idea of uh, a discovered check and uh, the queen is also under attack so now queen to f7 please uh, so Karagin please uh, queen to f7 the only best move here and now bishop to c3 bishop into c3 king to h8 now rook to e4 
supporting the bishop on c4 at the same time attacking the queen so queen plays f5 and now rook to e7 putting pressure on the g g7 pawn so rook to g8 here karakin gives up his rook because anyhow he has to give up his rook to protect in order to support uh, the g7 square here devo takes the rook with bishop now bishop into g8 and a rook into g8 and now d into c7 and now queen to c2 plays a karakin with the idea of a double attack attacking the bishop on c3 at the same time the f2 pawn is also under attack so in reply to queen to c2 devo plays a bishop to e5 and bishop to f2 check even queen to f2 check can be played but uh, that is of no, no use because uh, we can play king to h1 and escape and there is not much play left for black here so bishop to f2 check and king to h1 the king is safe now bishop to b6 please carry again now h3 so king to h7 and now rook to e1 doubling of rooks consolidating the war consolidating his position and trying to launch a very strong attack on the king side now a3 plays carry again now king to h2 and now g5 and now knight to d4 attacking the queen on c2 so now queen goes c4 attacking the pawn on e2 knight to f5 plays uh, dubo putting more pressure on the g g7 pawn now queen into b4 here karakan wins a pawn but that is of no use because uh, dubo is way ahead of in his attack he's trying to launch a very concentrated attack the pawn on g7 is attacked so now rook to c1 with the idea of promoting the queen and the pawn with the idea of promoting the pawn on c7 and now king to g6 king to g6 plays uh, karakin here karakin is trying his best to save the game he is attacking the knight on f5 dubo plays rook into g7 check because anyhow he is trying to queen karakin here gives up his rook and uh, instead he takes the knight king into f5 and now rook into g8 and bishop into c7 here karakin is trying to save the game now bishop into c7 and queen into b queen to b2 attacking the rook at the same time attacking the a2 pawn so now rook to c5 check king to e4 and rook to d8 so it was in this position on move 38 that uh, karakin resigned the game because he cannot do any uh, anything better here because he is only having his queen with only a queen he cannot uh, win the game or even draw the game because uh, the next move uh, rook to e5 check is a real threat because uh, white can go on to win the game from this position so it was a brilliant victory by devo over karyakin he played a wonderful game so this game is dubbed as one of the most interesting game of 2020 hope you guys enjoyed the game and stay tuned for more action thank you